You hungry, Sam? <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have had those burgers. No, <laughs> definitely not. So, what we have for you today is a sweetgrass juniper braised bison ribs. We have a roasted butternut squash bannock pizza with a maple chipotle drizzle and some pine nuts. And we also have a, our feast pizza, which is bison sausage, pepperoni, and bacon. And these are on bannock crusts. And this is an all-time favorite here. And this is our traditional bison dip. And it has our famous fry bread for you to dip it in that au jus there. So this is, like I said, the second mm -hmm. one that we talked about. So what are you going to try first? <laughs> I'm looking at that yeah. pizza. You're looking at the bannock pizza? Have you ever had squash on pizza before? No, I don't no. think so. Well, dig in, let's try it. So uh, how did you get in uh, the restaurant industry? I get that question asked a lot. And I have to say, I actually never dreamed of owning a restaurant. It's not something I ever thought I was going to do. I am a home cook turned restaurateur. I'm Solto Cree French Métis. And I've actually spent the last 20 years learning about my traditional foods, reconnecting to my culture through food, understanding where our food came from, understanding the history of our people, especially here in Manitoba, which is the homeland of the Métis. And so, um, you know, I was very disconnected to my culture through food. Uh, my first business was actually a licensed holistic grassroots daycare that targeted inner city children, uh, particularly in our uh, communities. And that's when I started learning about our traditional foods within the program and started introducing them to um, the kids and cooking with them and developing recipes and I just, it was actually a healing journey for me as well to reconnect to my culture through food. Um, I think it's very empowering um, in understanding where your food comes from. It gives you a sense of pride and self-worth and so after 25 years of developing all these recipes, the opportunity came for me to open up a restaurant and here we are. It's wow, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. How was the pizza? It was awesome. It was phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. Is it good? So now let's dig into that dip. I got to get you into that, that bison dip. So I'm going to put it here for you to both dip it in there. This is actually my husband's favorite. So I'll, mo I'll move over so you okay. can get in there and... Sing it in there. So basically, you just give it Together. a dip. Here's a napkin. <laughs> Old hands. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. So this is um, our wild blueberry barbecue sauce. And we actually um, braise... <laughs> Cheers. We braise the bison for six hours, marinate it for 24. So there's a lot of love that goes into this. That's really good. You can taste the love. <laughs> yeah, you can taste the love. There you go. So let's talk about the, the bison ribs now. So like I said, we braise them with sweet grass and with juniper and some traditional, these are traditional medicines. And if you smell the sweet grass, smell that. It's, it smells like peace, kindness, and love. And like some communities, they're, the three braids represent the hair of Mother Earth. And in some communities, it might represent um, the body, mind, and the soul, or the spirit, or some communities would say peace, love, and kindness. So traditionally, they would make baskets with them. They would actually um, snip a piece off for women for afterbirth, with giving birth to thin the blood, and for rheumatitis, for, for, your, for your joints. They would steep it in tea. So as a home cook turned chef, I thought, why it smells so good? What happens if we start infusing it into mm -hmm. some of our foods and getting some of that medicine into our food? So you'll probably taste a little bit of that in the bison ribs. Sauce is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really good. So it's a... Uh, Blueberries go well yeah. with the... Right. With the, yeah. with the, the bison, yeah. Or do you ever eat game meats at all or venison? Or? Mm -hmm. I love yeah. bison. Oh, do you? Yeah, okay. yeah. I pre probably where you come from, from Quebec, right? Yeah, well, I've had, yeah, a lot of, not just, you know, beef and chicken. I've had, but yeah, I love bison. Nice. And then if, how does it go with the, the potato squash? Maybe? It's really good. Yeah. There you have it. That's delicious. Bison roots. Awesome. Nice. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. 